What is up, bros and brats? I'm Ink Slasher, and welcome to Versus, the series where we put two weapons or sometimes other things head to head to see which one is better and make you a better Call of Duty player. Today, we're looking at two DLC or supply drop weapons, whatever you want to call them, to see what one is better and maybe to see which one you would prefer to get out of a supply drop. So, the two weapons we're looking at today is one of the newer ones, the KVK 99M versus the M16. Now, as far as these two weapons go, they're really different. The First of all, the M16 is a burst action assault rifle, whereas the KVK is a fully automatic assault rifle, so we're going to have to take that into account when looking at their stats, but don't worry, by the end of this video, we'll definitely be able to see which weapon is better. So as always, to start things off, we're going to start with the damage profile, and this one's pretty simple. The KVK is going to deal 35 damage up close, 29 at mid-range, and 22 at long range, ranging from a 3 to a 5 bullet kill. Whereas the M16 deals 40 damage up close and 30 at long range, ranging from a 3 to a 4 bullet kill. Not to mention that the M16 deals that 40 damage up until 50 meters, whereas that 3 bullet kill range for the KVK is only 21 meters. So obviously the damage profile for the M16 is much, much better, and for that it gets plus 1 point and takes the lead. Now the part where this gets weird because of the difference between the burst action versus fully automatic is when we look at fire rate. So what we're going to do for this is we're going to give out 2 different points for fire rate. The first one is going to be based off of the burst fire rate for the M16. The second of which is just going to be the overall fire rate. And the reason why this actually works out is because the KVK has a little bit of a special stat. The first two bullets that come out of the KVK actually shoot faster than the rest of the bullets that you're going to fire. So the first two bullets of the KVK come out of the weapon at 810 RPM. Now, as we know, the M16 is a three round burst weapon and the first three bullets to come out of this weapon before the burst delay come out of the weapon at 909 RPM. That's obviously faster than the 810 for the KVK, so therefore the M16 gets plus one point. Now the second fire rate we're looking at is the overall fire rate. So this is going to be taking into account the base fire rates of both weapons, and on top of that, incorporating burst delay for the M16. So the base fire rate for the KVK is 555 RPM, whereas the M16, if you account for burst delay, it drops down from 909 RPM to 452 RPM. So definitely a lot lot slower because of that but that's just because of that burst delay but we're going to give it one point to the kvk because of that the next thing we're going to look at is time to kill and this one isn't even worth comparing with these two weapons even though at points the kvk has a better fire rate the time to kill does not represent that in the slightest the m16 has the best fire rate in the game and it's just completely unfair to compare that to the kvk it's simply because the damage profile is so good for the m16 and the fact that you can deal a three bullet kill which is going to be a one round burst up until 50 meters is why the m16 has such a good fire rate so because of that it's going to get plus one point and extend that lead now both of these weapons have the same magazine size at 30 rounds but the reload speed is different for both so the reload speed for the kvk is 2.5 seconds with bullets still in the magazine and 3.1 seconds with an empty magazine whereas the m16 is two seconds with bullets still in the magazine and three seconds with an empty magazine so in both cases it's better for that m16 therefore it gets plus one more point and i'm not gonna lie things don't get much better for the kvk after this if we look at the sprint out time which is the amount of time it takes to go from sprinting to shooting it is 0.35 seconds for the kvk and only 0.3 seconds for the m16 so once again that is better for the m16 it gets a point for that on top of that when we look at the aim down sights time once again it's 0.35 for the kvk and for the m16 it's 0.25 so a whole 0.1 second better for the m16 and it gets plus one more point for that so up until this point it's quite the blowout for the m16 the only other thing we could really compare for these two weapons is the recoil and to be honest i think the m16 recoil is better than the kvk but that being said the kvk doesn't have a ton of recoil it's not unmanageable so i'm not going to give out any points for that it just kind of seems redundant but overall as you can see by the score the m16 is by far the better weapon now i said it before i'll say it again the m16 in my opinion is one of the if not the best weapon in the game if you get one weapon out of a supply drop this is the weapon you want it to be on top of that out of all of the stats we talked about today even though it has that amazing time to kill 
it gets even better when you put high caliber on it to the point where you have a 0 0.06 second time to kill with it, which is just completely, completely unfair. But guys, I'm curious what you think. What weapon do you think is better? Do you have either of these weapons? If you do, which one do you use more? Or you can let me know if you don't have either of these weapons down in the comments below. On top of that, if you're new to the channel and like what you see, it'd be fantastic if you could hit that subscribe button. I upload new Call of Duty videos every single day, so if you're interested in that, that subscribe button is sitting there with your name on it. And on top of that, guys, if you enjoyed the video, it would be very much appreciated if you hit that like button. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace out. Wake up.